Hi. So last night I was called to a friend's house for an emergency. All right, so let me get this straight. You killed a cockroach. It was a gigantic cockroach. Okay, you killed a gigantic cockroach. Yes. With this shoe? Yes. It's still under the shoe? Yes. And now you want me to clean yes. it up? Yes. Okay, uh, how's about no? If you don't do it, I'm gonna leave it there. You remember the fly incident? Oh, the fly incident. So there's a dead fly under there. Yeah. And you're not gonna move it? Nope. I'm not gonna move it for you, man. Okay, I'll just leave it there. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Just gonna leave it here? Well, how long are you gonna leave it here for? God, there was foul. You yeah. left it there for like <laughs> two days. Yeah. Two days. I'll do it. <sighs> fine, fine. Thank you. It's not like I liked it. <coughs> <coughs> Ow, that's so gross. <sighs> Make sure you wash your hands. So there you go. Apparently there are people who kill insects and then make their friends deal with it. Thanks, dude. Um, no, but yes, it was very interesting. Though to be fair, now that I think about it, every time one of my fish dies, I, I call someone into the room. Dad! Yeah. Um, now as you know, underage girls are my specialty. So I want to do a quick shout out to these girls who um, I bumped into tonight. It was a birthday dinner and they were incredibly sweet and um... They did something very classy, I have to show you guys this. They shouted me a drink, the waiter came over and, uh, and brought me a drink. I had schoolgirls buy me a drink and they very charmingly wrote, P.S. the drink is not spiked. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was sitting with four men and they were pretty jealous. Only problem is there's no number on this. No, I'm joking. So I also bumped into a couple of other people as well who sent their pictures in, so thank you for that. Now, in my last video, I asked you guys to tell me what your shame shows were, and actually the same names kept coming up. The most popular ones included The Hills, Gilmore Girls, and Hannah Montana. You know, that's not that bad. It's not as bad as the security I saw in the store during the week. Check this out. The guy left the store and he chained the door to the gumball machine. It made me laugh. And I was thinking to myself, if I were a bad person, if I had guts, I would steal something right now. And I was trying to think of what I would steal. So let me know what you would steal from a convenience store, because I know what I would steal. I'll tell you next time. Write it in the comments and let me know. But think about it. You want to, you want to steal one thing? and you want it to be worth the most money. Let me know down there. I don't know, it was interesting security. Because heaven knows when I lock your mom, I might make okay, sure it's Okay, it's music slash comment time. And you know what, guys? I say mind your spot. And Dana Lana Cabana, really? Do people really call fives? I have never heard that before, but I'm gonna try it and see if I get slapped. Be the only human contact I get. And Fire, Wind, Water, one, two, three. You know what, mate? I watched the first season of The Bachelorette, I'm not gonna lie. I loved being grossed out by how quickly they would make out with different people. It was, yeah, astounding. And don't forget the baby. Seventh Heaven was what everyone watched back when I was in high school. Jessica Biel was apparently the shiz. And you know what? Don't worry about it, man. My parents felt the same way when I was a baby. They never fed me. 